In this video, I try pan pastels and pastel pencils for the very first time. Hi guys, welcome back to another video, a short one this time, but I wanted to make sure I had something posted this week. So I've been seeing tons of videos on pan pastels and pastel pencils for ages now, and I've finally bit the bullet and got some. The pan pastels I've actually had for a while as I received them as a Christmas present, but last week I ordered the Faber Castell Pit Pastel Pencils set of 60, and here I am trying them out for the first time. For being something a little different to work with, they were great fun but admittedly a lot harder than I anticipated. I think for the pan pastels I need to try out some more blending tools as I wasn't 100% satisfied with the blending tools they came with. The trouble I found was after going in with the pencils it left pastel dust all over the background. But with that being said it was still pretty easy to get a smooth blend. I did also order some Clairefontaine crystal paper which is supposed to stop you from smudging the pastel and keeps it artwork protected. But as you will see I don't use this as it took a little longer to arrive. But if you are to order this crystal paper, make sure you take a look at the dimensions as mine was a little larger than I expected. Now let's talk a little bit about sharpening these pencils, as it seems the preferred method is using a knife and some sandpaper to sharpen these pastel pencils. As you can see, I didn't do this. After completing this piece, I can see why this is a preferred method. I used an electric sharpener and multiple times the pastel broke and it was a massive pain to try and remove the broken pastel. So for future, I need to look into getting a better method for sharpening these pencils. Overall though, these are super cool to work with and they blend like nothing else. I was also surprised at how well these layered on top of one another. So it was very easy to alter areas, mix custom colours and also get impressively fine details. For it being such a soft medium, I thought the fine details were going to be hard to achieve. But the pencils sharp to a real fine point and so small details are definitely achievable. I should also probably talk a bit about the paper too. And if you are familiar with pastels, then it's probably not a surprise to you that I'm using Claire Fontaine's pastel mat. For my research, pretty much every pastel artist uses this paper, and so it was a pretty obvious choice. For me, I'm used to working on a completely smooth surface, so the slightly sandpapery feel that this pastel mat had was something I had to get used to. And as for quality, I really can't say much, as this is the only paper I tried. But it was really nice and thick, I think it was 360 GSM if I remember correctly, and it also came with glassine crystal paper in between each sheet, so if you were to work directly inside the pad, your work would be protected. So I've waited this long to tell you guys what the subject is, obviously it's a snake, but I thought I'd let you guys try and guess in the comments below what kind of snake you think it is. I chose this snake for one reason only, it just looked cool. And I hope I've done it justice and made it look as cool as it is. But either way, I hope you've enjoyed this video, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.